Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So right now we are down, uh, are we uptown or downtown? Uh, uptown. Okay, so we're uptown in the Highland Village and we actually just left the Apple store. We were looking at upgrading our um, MacBook Pros to the newest MacBook Pros because now that we're doing videos, we're going to need more uh, storage and different things like that. So um, we were actually in there checking that out. The kids are needing to upgrade their um, iPads. I need to get my iPad fixed. So uh hopefully going forward we'll be able to go ahead and uh, make it back in there make those purchases right now we just need to do a little bit more research in the meantime we are down here headed into crate and barrel because we are going to do some holiday shopping we're lo looking at um home dishes possibly holiday dishes i know i told you guys that we were going to go shop together so we may be doing that today just depending on what i find and um you know just looking around for some things for the house and for the holidays i have akeem with me he is behind the camera uh, it's a cool breezy day today, so we're just kind of out shopping, enjoying, and getting some things ready for the house. Anything you got to say, babe? No, let's uh, let's go spend some money, I guess. Let's go spend some money. Those are my favorite words. Kitchen and I guess it is. I'm on two. This bowl is different. I want these little black bowls on there too. So you don't like that pendant light? Because I'm much of course. I like it. Does it come in a different color? Yeah, I believe it comes in black. Oh, the razor? Yeah. Yeah, that could work. So here's that all plat. That's what I was talking about. The D3. So is this the set? It's supposed to be 10 pieces. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this is it. Alright, so I actually like this ceramic mixing bowl. It's a nice size. Um, especially with the holidays coming up. Do a lot of mixing in here, so this is something that I'm looking at, but I am a huge fan of the square bowl, so I do like the serving bowl. I do have smaller, like lower serving bowls, short ones for um, the holidays. Um, and I will insert that information in here. What do you think about for the turkey? I don't know. Maybe the ham. Maybe not turkey. I think it's a nice size for the ham. <coughs> We got one of these, huh? Just one. I said we got one of these, huh? Yes. Thank you. For the most part. For the most part. You're just following this way. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can see that. We just grab, you know, boxes and boxes off the right. <laughs> off the floor. We give you the service, hopefully, to go in the back and get it. So. Oh, let's look at this black and white. Thank you. What do you think about these? They're 
years. Um, like especially for the dining room or the uh, kitchen? Yeah. Place settings? I mean, that's... I mean, obviously on the other side they have all the different styles, but this is one I was looking at. Mm -hmm. this, this set, I just didn't know if it's something that you wanted more so like every day. No, I kind of want, I don't know about every day just because of the kids, for the kids at least. Um, for us, that's different. I kind of want a stoneware um, round bowls anyway. Uh, wider, just a little bit wider. Um, I think those would be great for play settings, but not necessarily everyday eating. Like the ones that we already had. Like those are kind of like the ones that we have at the house. Mm -hmm. You know, those are more smooth. Like These are the ones that we have at the house. What about that? Yeah, so you got that. I know I look that low because everything has like a lip almost. Mm -hmm. Ball play saucer. I would like these better than I like. I like these. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of these, but I do like that bowl. Those bowls to the left remind me of the IKEA bowls that we got for the kids. So you don't not this not this style, not this look. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this because it looks gray. Ish. You want something more porcelain like? Yeah. Okay, so I really like this Christmas setting, play setting. So it's like. You have the tree platter, a um, couple serving bowls, some little mini stockings, but then you have like the uh, placemats, the table runner, napkins, clean white plate with the red rim, and then the cutest detail of the nutcracker. But this is what I mean when I say we have nowhere to put this stuff. Like I would love to get this stuff for this upcoming season, but we don't have a table yet. So it's like, do you buy it now? And then when you get a table setting next year, you already have it because you don't know if it's going to come back out next year. The cutest napkin rings. Or do you just, you know, bypass not getting it and hope that you find something better next year. I like guess so frustrating with the furniture situation. I mean, we won't get our table until March, you know. So all the holiday planning we thought we'd be doing by now, it's not even happening it's just unless we pull out one of the banquet tables and call it a day and that's just something i'm not trying to do this year like we thought we'd be doing halloween parties christmas parties friendsgiving like these are things that we talked about this time last year i'm trying to step away from akeem because he's on a business call, I do need another. Actually, I need a jar, packing jar. Um, mm -hmm. so I do think I'm gonna grab one of these. It's actually perfect for what I was looking for. Um, this is my first time seeing it, so I'm kind of in love right now. But I want to do a black and white thing, like I told you guys, for Christmas. But I wanted to find like wooden um, ornaments. So just like maybe 10, 15 wooden ornaments to place on the tree. And then like maybe red bowls or red berries. So this is actually perfect. These are wooden uh, snowman objects, super cute. And then you got the reindeer. I like the little trees down here. And then you got the two lantern lanterns. So actually I was just looking at these. I'm like, hmm, you could put, what? Well, if you don't want to do candles, Yeah, how cute is that? How cute is a snowman inside the house? And then you could even put like... I feel like you didn't do something. I, I feel like I didn't do something. And obviously if it was on the floor because we don't have a uh, hearth. But that would be so cute in front of the fireplace. And then maybe put the reindeer on top of the fireplace. The nutcracker is like super cute. I wouldn't get everything over here. But because I'm not a huge fan of the ceramics. If I did, I would probably get like three ceramics and put it behind a green garland over the mantle because I love the color of the mantle. Um, those little trees are cute. But yeah, I feel like this is a cute little vibe with the wood and the black and the white. I feel this is cute. So if you don't want to do the little lantern um, with a candle inside, put the little snowman in there. Yeah, this is super cute. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see.
See, I needed one of these uh, mixing glasses. Here, let's get this. It's a strainer set. I already have that. These bitter bottles, those are pretty. These are pretty nice. So it's just one ounce and two ounce? No, it's I'm going to assume so, but I don't know. What about these? That's why I said those are drink uh cocktail. Juices and measure the one you have. Oh juices, yeah. We start doing our um now this is different. But it chip it look it's chipping easily. Is it chipping or yeah? So you guys know we've been making cocktail drinks both at home. We made one or two for the channel. Um, this is something I actually enjoy doing, but I'm the type of person where I'm like, I love the packaging. So whether it be, you know, the boxing that it comes in, the actual product or, you know, uh, how it's sent, whatever the case may be. So I'm like, when I drink my pretty drinks, I want them to be in pretty drink glasses. So that's been my thing. Like I told you guys, I love buying different glasses anyway. Um, I'm weird like that. And so I'm loving these. I think these are super cute for different drinks. I don't think I need a whole set of eight unless I plan on putting them out at the table, which as I'm saying that, I think I like that. I guess it just depends on the setting that we have for the dining room table. So that 16, it's a bigger glass though. The good part about Crate and Barrel is like they always have certain dishes. What I don't know is if they always have certain glasses. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I've been on like this little shape lately. Um, I actually want to replace my goblets, like all my goblets, with those type shape um, drinkware. But I'm like, these are super cute. Super cute. And sometimes when you're making certain drinks, like you want it to be in a particular glass. So that's another reason why I'm like, I'm always stuck on getting different glasses from different places. So, Akeem is picking up this mixing yeah, jar I'm gonna go for with, his bar. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know, what you think? I like this one. Now the crazy part is this one is thicker glass, like you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. But so, this one costs more. I like this one because it kind of is just, you know me, like it's simple. Um, this one goes with a lot of your whis whiskey glasses, kind of old school, traditional to me. But if I had to pick, I'd probably pick that one. I like because it's it's uh, it's wider, so when you st this would be more difficult to stir. Yeah. With a lot of ice, so. I wish I would have went with this set. It's a little bit more, but aesthetically, it's a lot better. Plus, it comes with a uh, ice bucket. I think it's cute. Um, I think for something like that, I would rather until we get the like the actual bar set up and it's not sitting in the butler's pantry. So that's definitely something you can look into later. All right, even this. Yeah, see, this is a, a little bit of a better muddler because it has to wait till I feel that. Oh yeah, this is heavy. So it'd be a little easier to muddle things. So that you could do for alternative. Actually mix these two up, you know what I mean? Get this one. This is the one. When? When we were upstairs. No, it was it was like black and marble, but I like this one better because I didn't like the marble. So I'm like, we don't. The same cost is is two thousand. Yeah. But so this is my thought process, right? Uh mm huh. -hmm. 
This looks clean, so obviously you can you know, hang your glasses up here. And down here, you have like these racks for wine. Mm -hmm. But think about the amount of liquor bottles we have. We'll restore it. Well, you could take one of those out, can't you? Mm hmm But you, you're only going one level deep. There's no, you can't go two levels. So everything you have, if you want to have one side for wine. But you can adjust those. Hmm? You can adjust those racks up or down. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking about the size of a, a typical liquor bottle. But the height. Right, so you adjust, you adjust them both. Because like I said, we don't necessarily have to put the wine in there. Mm -hmm. um, but more so than anything, I think this turns over, right? And becomes a flat surface. So then you can stack it up. Right. I'm, so I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I don't. A typical liquor bottle isn't going to be just right here. Uh huh. It may be taller than this. Uh huh. So even if you raise this up, you're not typically going to get two levels because of how tall. Right. So that's what I was saying. Like all, these don't have to be laid down. So let's say we decide to sit them all up. So you can have the tall ones over here. And then you can have like the short ones over here. Flip this over, either raise it or lower it, and you'll just have two over here and one over here. So get rid of the wine altogether. Yeah, or you can stand the wine bottles up. They don't have to be on their side. You can just stand them up in the back. Right. So I'm talking about height wise, and then the amount. Because uh -huh. this, up here you want it to be plain. Yes. And then the way this opens is pretty cool. Like it slides, it kind of folds back. So this I like that. Light. Is there a light in there? Mm. Yeah. It's lit. Oh, it's lit. Okay. Yeah. I like the drawers too for storage. So like this makes sense to have like something on display, and then hide the rest. Knowing that we're going to have enough room. I mean, I guess we have overflow. Yeah, I feel like you'll have enough room. Plus, we still want to get a small wine cooler. To put the wine bottles in, mm -hmm. and let's just be honest, like there's some we have some tall bottles, um, but I don't think anything's gonna be like, like, cause the tallest one is right here. Like I said, you can always just take one of these out. No, I, I get that. So okay, this is gone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's say a, a fifth of vodka. Mm -hmm. a fifth of vodka is about this tall. Here, mm -hmm. you're not putting a shelf on top of that. Right. So everything you have is going to be one level, and it's going to go as deep as this. Here you can get maybe three, four bottles. I disagree. I feel like you can get more than that. Think about the shape of the bottle. It's going to be wider. Everything is not going to be perfect. The smallest thing. Think about some of my whiskeys. They're wider instead of tall. Some of them are narrow and tall. So for the most part, you're not getting a bunch. Unless you take this out and you have this nothing but liquor, you're fine. And then like you said, when you go get the wine fridge, Cause you know most of the wines you drink are chilled anyway. You're a white wine. I, I mean, yeah. And reds, you can, you, cause you can get the dual zone of the wine fridge. But I do like this. Cause I wanted a drink fridge all the way around. Um, oh, where the we knees. Can put like our lemonade juices and stuff like that. And like I said, like, this is lockable, so that's cool. But I like this. I'm not supposed to like the way it opens on that track. I just be talking to myself. It's weird. I heard you. What did I say? You said you definitely want a drink for it. Yeah. So. Alright, I need to. But you gotta see picture. the colors that's coming in. I like that color. You do? Yeah. For the dining room? Yeah. Especially if we're gonna get that black um, accent wall. I feel like that'd be great. No, but I like this a lot. It is the. If you put it in the card, it's just going to give you an idea. But how is it going to, is it going to like you back? That's the difference. Yeah. Pretty bottom. I like that. It's it? definitely boozy. Oh, I like that. And then this is it. 
Let's try that one. Blue Air Vert. Uh huh. Blue okay. Air Vert. You want to try that one the other? And we do. You're doing it good. So you're not supposed to rub it. it. Stays on longer. All the pure oils and ingredients penetrates into your pores. That has the ability to last longer that way. It smells okay. like licorice. Let me see. There's black licorice in here. It has to be. I can smell it. That's nice on you, though. That smells really good. May I see this one? Yeah, this is the apple. Oh, sorry. I really don't smell nothing much on that one, really. I think that one has more power. Yeah, this is definitely stronger. That has more power. It's a little I like lighter. I like that one for me. Yeah. More subtle? Yeah. For a man, especially right now for the fall, definitely that one. But I mean, I like them both. This one is... It takes some getting used to. Which one is that again? Uh, this is uh, the uh, little hair vert. Yeah, hair vert. Okay. So vert is green. So I'm assuming it has some green elements, some earthy tones, or mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the notes are, but you can. It's, uh, yeah. It has black licorice in it, but which yeah. you wouldn't think would smell good, but it. It does when you put it on the skin. I mean, I look at the note breakdown, but it it it's, it works a little bit. Try it again. Really nice. It really does have a great scent. Once you put it on, it really settles down beautifully. Especially with the notes and its oods. It's one of your classic, more of oods, more great every day, great for the fall. To me, I think it's more like the a tradition. No, like, to I barely me, smell it. yeah, to me, it's like a great, great traditional for every day. Okay. Uh, seasonal, you know, because it's not as heavy. Let me see. Like, I don't smell the oud at all. And you hate oud fragrances. Uh, no, oh, this smells amazing. No, this is really That's nice. That's nice. But now, think of, you know that. It's not this overpowering. Will, right. And think of this. This also could be for women, too. Because mm -hmm. they're shared. Yeah, we, yeah, I like we wear unisex. Right, right. So. There's another one I want you to smell. Because it's very exclusive. Have you ever heard of Tanzania Terenzi? Yes. We okay. actually, vaguely. And I have one on my list. Well, two on my list. Uh, yeah, we kind of just smelled it for the first time. What, oh, they're incredible. A, a month I forget or so the ago? name. I forget. The, I know by the bottle. I okay, forget the name right, of let's it. Okay, come on. That's good. Let's so these are our anniversary collection, these are our star collection, these are our galaxy collection, and this is his classic collection. We also have candles, candles because they've been in the third generation, they were born since 1968, Italy. And all of these have been created by memory, a, a journey, you name it, it always starts off that way. Now. You were talking about some of the oots. Yeah, we didn't see all of these. We only saw a couple of them. One of their oots that's really famous here for theirs, which we do have one. I don't we try white fire. We try yeah. Kirky? Kirky? I don't think so. I don't think Kirky so. is one of another top best one. But let me show you this gold oot. And there's another oot that we have. It's called Dubi. Dubi. And a lot of all the oots have been created in all fragrance world, we rank number one on that one. Okay. I should be getting it pretty soon for the holidays. But this one's a really great. This is called uh, Rose Gold Oud. It has rose in it, but it's really, really nice. It's now not this a, is my food. And yes, but it's not, it's like still not way, way over overwhelming. This one is one of our number one sellers all the time. I show it to a woman, takes off the cart, turns around, comes back, buys it 100% all the time. Even this a man. reminds me of something. But not like a fragrance, but like something. Like a memory? It's a memory. I'm telling you, fragrance is always going to bring you to a memory. Kirky is your fruity, floral. It's just a very uh, divine and very sexy scent. Every rose woman, gold oud. Rose gold oud. And this is Kirky. This, I'm telling you, every either a man or a woman, show it to them. They love it. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Then I, I, it's, it's it's always a short short thing on that one. Times better oh, on the no. skin. Wow. Ten times better. Now there's one in here that it's missing, and the only reason why it's missing is because they always keep on taking it. Mm -hmm. This one is called Draco. Now Draco. I don't want to forget these two. These two I like. Okay. Okay. Draco is a great scent, also for a woman or for a man. I actually, I would sell this one and this one together. Because mm -hmm. remember, you can both layer together oh, and it's just, it's a winner. It almost smells like baklava. It has some notes of baklava. 
Let me tell you what smells like baccarat. You think that's like baccarat. This one is like your chick magnet. This is better than baccarat. And they, this is what the women tell me. <laughs> I can't wear no chick. Well, that's like I can't say that because it's just like a, I, I, I won't say it because I can only say it to women. To <laughs> These are eight fifty. Oh wow. Tuli, oh my god, she's just like an elegant, sophisticated woman. She's one of my Okay, so we're back. And these are the three that we tried to smell again. This one I absolutely love, so I'm gonna have to come back and get that one, but we're gonna go with these two signature scents. For all the ones that I don't believe. Seven one three. So it'd be Melissa. Do it in there for me, <laughs> Melissa. You're a lot faster than me. Come on. Now. Okay. Maybe one of these days I'll bump into you there at the. Oh, oh yeah, you'll see me for sure. For sure. Oh, because with like right now we're waiting on a kitchen table, a dining room table, and a uh, coffee table, and it won't come in until spring of next year, and oh, wow. we closed on our house in Everything April. Oh, okay. So we we ordered our couch from Pottery Barn in March. We got the couch the end of July. We went into Home Goods. We found one rug that we loved grabbed it ran home it was too small had to return it we just found another one going in there on like one of the busiest days because trying to find like a 9 by 12 rug we you got to get in there like immediately yeah so we obviously we just left um the gallery of we went to Creighton Bear a little earlier so my whole point of wanting to go to the gallery to the mall to Sac specifically um there's this fragrance house house of Killian and they have this new scent that came out called apple brandy and i know we haven't really talked about um fragrances much at least on our channel but if you follow us or me or yeah you post some too a little bit on your page um on instagram you'll see that we talk um a little bit more about you know our love or our newfound love for you know fragrances especially niche fragrances and you know like and i remember not too long ago, I, in my mind, I would have never thought that I would purchase multiple bottles of fragrance that cost $300, $400 and up. One or two here and there, but multiple bottles, I just never thought that I would be that person. It's just different. Like, it's, it's not one of those things where, like, I can pick out, I don't want to say pick out, but I can tell a designer fragrance from a niche fragrance. And it's not to say that one is better because I mean each one I think serves a purpose mm -hmm. but for me I like the uniqueness of it like when people always want to know where I you know where I got it from or what's that smell or it's it's very unique so but I can pick up like if I'm walking through if, if I'm at a bar club work anywhere mall grocery store and I walk past someone and they have on a, a nice smelling fragrance I either can one tell which brand it is if it's gucci burberry something like that or but i can definitely yeah or i can definitely tell if it's a niche fragrance or if it's a you know like a mass-produced designer fragrance mm -hmm. so um for me personally i love the uniqueness i love the the longer wear i love the what they call sillage which is the, the projection so you know you don't have to be right up on my neck to smell it so that's that's why i've gotten into it um Again, one of my friends encouraged me to kind of jump into this world, so I did, you know, reluctantly because yeah. I knew if I liked it. Thanks, Cholet <laughs> and Jasmine, because now this is literally like one of our favorite things to, to be into, really, as a, you know, especially in our age, is yeah. to be into niche or fragrances in general. Like, we love going to go smell them. And I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, that's all good. Um, we definitely love going to go smell them. Like, even if we aren't purchasing at that moment, um, we love to go sniffing. Um, we talked about that prior. I don't know if we if we ended up uh, putting that video out there when we went to sex last time. I don't but think like so. sniffing is like one of our favorite things to go do. Uh, we've done blind buys, 
but sniffing to me is fun getting out there finding new fragrances um, just seeing you know what you may be into what you may not be into wearing around the mall wearing around the store and just seeing how it sits on you um, me for one like I've always been the type of person like I love a, a really good smelling guy uh, if y'all know you know telling our age a little bit but curve you know when we were in high school like <laughs> when the boys there. wore curve whoo child like I loved it I loved picking up on curve and then I just remember like when the boys started wearing like the polo black and I remember picking up on that and it's like in and when they walked by it was so significant like you knew when someone was wearing polo, polo black but my uncle but wait was, a minute wait a minute but for me it was when the ladies were cucumber melon <laughs> I hate what? my laugh but <laughs> It'd be no. so throat like, but yeah. No, cucumber melon, but the one, like, if you want to take advantage of me back in the day, it was Love Spell. I was going to say, don't say Love Spell. Man, that, Lord. That Love Spell used to, I used to buy all the lunches. Man, and I used to work at Victoria's Secret, so I had all of them. Uh, it, to me, it's very much like, you know, collecting art in a sense. Um, you know, people spend hundreds to thousands to millions of dollars on artwork, and it's just something to kind of. It, it, it's a flex in a sense. I mean, outside of the tax reasons, we get all we get all that. But it's it's nice to have that conversation piece in your house when people come over to talk about um, if they're into that type of thing. And I think fragrance very much is the same way from the type of bottle it's it's in to um, the way it sprays, the atomizer, how it comes out. Like all of that creates an experience for me at least. So um, it's. A new ex all my hobbies are expensive. I need a cheaper hobby. Like cigars are expensive. Whiskey can be expensive. Um, and now fragrance, you know, being into this this world can get expensive. Like you say, we're talking four, five, six, seven hundred dollar bottles, even a two hundred dollar box. So anywhere between two and seven hundred dollars a bottle. But anyway, that's enough of that. We're about to rush home because the kids get home from school and. Well, they get out of school in about an hour, so we need to be there to pick them up. I gotta eat. I'm hungry. So we gotta feed the baby. And don't say it like that. There are people that think you're pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> far from it. Feed my baby. I put it that way. Feed my baby. Uh, pick the kids up and get this unboxing going, and show everything that we got from Crate and Barrel, and then show the fragrances we got as well. So we'll pick this up in a little bit. And talk to y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so we are back at the house. Um, we did pull a lot of the wrapping off of the uh, items, so we can just go ahead and show it to y'all. Um, we got back from Crate and Barrel. As you know, we stopped at Saks out at the Galleria Mall. So we just want to show y'all what we got. Um, we got a lot and a little all at the same time. So I'll go ahead and let Akeem start with the first box. Um, so just go ahead and start with that. I'll open this up and you right. have to show that stuff. So, one of, things, the kitchen and go from there. one of the things we got is this uh, Christmas tree platter. And you'll see on camera that I was showing you guys like the Christmas tree decor, um, the theme, the Christmas theme uh, with like the nutcracker place. And I was saying that I had really liked it, but we don't have a table. So, these were one of those things where we felt like we may not find this next season. And we can always put it on an island even without a table. So, we got this. And and it's probably I'm, blown out because of the lights, so we'll try but, to... Yeah, it's just a, a cookie platter or a Christmas tree shaped platter. Everything will be linked um, in the des description below. So, you know, just make sure if you're interested in this to check that out. Um, I'll try to shoot some B-roll and insert it too, so, you know, they can see it. Uh, I ended up picking up these. They were, I got two sets of four, and these are just, uh, pretty much you can like put them on your table, put your utensils in there. I just thought they were super cute. So it like replaces the napkin. Uh, no, it wouldn't replace. I mean, you still put a napkin on the table. I'm talking about how you wrap the silverware. Yeah, if, if not everybody wraps their not silverware. Right, but you know what I'm talking about. Go so, ahead. Um, I had wanted some wooden tongs, so I grabbed a couple of these small wooden tongs. We got some more wooden utensils, but we got these with the black silicone. So we got the ladle, the um, spoon, spatula. Uh, whisk so we just got more of these and we just went with a darker tone wood. We wanted to get some uh, more glass uh, Tupperware for our fruits and different things like that because we were just looking at how it makes them last longer Especially with our strawberries. Our strawberries tend to go like within 
two to three days. Saw this video. Um, I don't even know where we saw it, but after she cleaned and washed the strawberries, she put them in an airtight airtight container inside the refrigerator, and they lasted like two, three weeks. I think she said. Yeah, I mean it was more than a week for sure. So, so um, we got these Pyrex fresh lot, and this is a ten. So hopefully, you know, our strawberries and different things like that will last a little bit longer with these. But I just needed another one of these with a tap, with a lid, just another cookie jar. So, oh, I did get these glasses. So, I got these hoop cocktail glasses. They were a set of four, but they were on clearance because one of them was broke, so now they're a set of three. I did get them for more than half off, oh, okay. but I got them because I'm like, I don't need a set of four because they won't be a place setting. I just really wanted us to have different size glasses for drinking for when we're making our at-home cocktails. So two, three is good enough for me. Um, but oh, not I didn't see them. I saw the picture on the bike. Yeah, so they're a little bit longer. I want to say I have coupe glasses. I'm not exactly sure. But for the most of it, those have a longer stem. Um, but I do like those. So, um, a couple things that Akeem picked up. I'll let you go ahead and talk about those. So I got a uh, another cocktail jigger for measuring. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a two ounce side, and this is a one ounce side. Cause the one I have is an ounce and then a half ounce, um, and this has a little bit more weight to it. So I needed, I wanted something to kind of match the aesthetic of everything else. So got that. Um, also have a mixing glass. I've been on a, a hunt for these, well, one of these for a few weeks now, and I knew Crate and Barrel had them. But I just wanted to see if anybody else carried them. And I talked about this in one of our other videos. But this is, you use this to mix and build your drink drinks in if you don't build it in the glass. And then the other thing was just some of these uh, metal cocktail picks. So instead of using, I don't know if that's going to come up. But instead of using, you know, toothpicks um, for garnish, you have these reusable metal um, cocktail picks that you can put your garnish, your cherry, your lemon, whatever. On. So just something, you know, when we have people over and we're making drinks, just to take, you know, take it up a notch. Yeah, this is the Logan set, and I know it's white, so it's super reflective off this light. But like I said, I'm try to insert some pictures. But there's the bowl here. I'm gonna pass this to you. I like the bowl because most of our bowls are like the actual cereal bowls, um, and then we have like a little square bowl that came with the cold set. But I like this because it's just a. It's different. It's like a soup bowl, salad bowl. It's more of a wider bowl. I like the the style of it. Yeah, to piggyback on what you're talking about earlier. So when you're serving things, like a bowl is a bowl, right? It's gonna hold the same thing, but sometimes the shape of the bowl, the height of the bowl, the curvature of the bowl, or the plate, or whatever you're serving it in, will you know change the look of it, and we eat with our eyes first. So I really like these, um, you know, because it's different. You expect a more rounder, oval shape bowl, and um, but anyway, yeah, I like those. It's the whole set. So this is the saucer, and then the, the dinner plate, and you can see the kind of salad half, plate. Salad plate. <laughs> but um, and you see how like this, this uh, kind of like a like raised, a dip. yeah, kind of yeah. like a raised edge or it's inset. We got, we did get a set of eight, right? Yeah, we got a set of eight of everything. Um, next is going to be um, a shopping uh, when we stop at Saks. Uh, we bought these two fragrances from. No, stop for me. Tiziana Terenzi. Terenzi. So um, I'm gonna show these to you. I don't. If I decide to shoot a B-roll unboxing, I'm going to drop it right now. Oh, from the uh, Tiziana Terenzi, Terenzi collection. Um, so we actually found out about them a while ago. You read my mind. I was just about to say that. Yeah, we, we noticed them. What was it, Nordstrom's? No, we were at Neiman's probably Neiman's. about three, four months ago. Um, was it that long? Yeah. Like you figured it was October. This was a late, like, this That's was, true. yeah, July sometime. Yeah. So we went to Neiman's and like I said, we go often to, you know, smell what came out or even things that have been out just to kind of get an idea of where we want to go next as far as our added to our collection. And we saw these um, and the first thing that stood out to us was the packaging. No, I love packaging. She like does. the bottles, like before we even had like the actual packaging, the bottles. So um, we tried it, we smelled it and we actually loved it and we kind of have this like list of, okay, these are the ones we're going to add next. Um, fast forward, we bought a couple things in between, but we went out today and we were at Saks at the Galleria and we were looking at um, the Killian booth for House of Killian. We wanted to see smell apple brandy. 
we smelled it. It's nice. I probably will add it to the collection, but it wasn't something that I like had to have. Mm -hmm. But then the legend is like, have you ever heard of <laughs> Tiziana Terenzi? TNT. And they actually weren't at Saks when we first went out there. So I guess she said they were at Saks for like the last two and a half months. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, so she said they just got into Saks, and, and that's why we were able to see them this time because we had never seen them before. Um, we did get some footage. Uh, she was amazing. First of all, she worked for the brand, person, so she was hyping it up. Yeah. And usually, but she was knowledgeable. Like that's what I love. Like it was, she was very knowledgeable. And usually, I don't go for those ladies because they're gonna push the brand because they work for that brand inside of the department store. But like I told her, I said it helps that I was already familiar with the brand um, from the house that is from this house, and I've already liked it. So you being you you pushing is doing nothing but helping me. So because yeah. typically I'm skeptical because of course you're gonna tell me this is the best thing ever because you work there and you work for that particular um, house. So this one is called, um, it, it's spelled G-U-M-I-N. I don't know if it's, it's gummin, gummin, but you know, when it's a tiny, gumin or it's, whatever. Well, she said gummin. So um, I'm gonna try to get it as much on camera here and hopefully I got the B-roll video, which I probably will do. But when you open the box, which is dope, it has this light that comes on at the top and then it folds down here and then it unveils the bottle and it's right here. If, you, if you're not familiar like with the, like I said, with that whole niche line, a lot of the fragrances are unisex. Like, I know like with the, some of the designer brands, a lot of the designer brands, it's very masculine or feminine. Like I remember with my mom wearing white diamonds, it's like, no, no guy's gonna wear white diamonds. Like it's specifically, and it has that very perfumey smell. Smell. Perfumey scent. But like when you get into like these brands and they make it for, and I think that's what we both love about it, it just smells good. It's almost like a candle. Like you don't think about a, a good smelling. When you walk into a house, you don't think it smells feminine or it smells masculine. Like if the house smells good, it smells good. Um, they have some great new car scent. Too. When you get into a new car and it's a new air freshener, you don't. You don't say, oh, it's a feminine smell. It just smells good. Yeah. Um, and that's what I like about, you know, this. Yeah, like, if you can find this at your local Saks now or Neiman's, definitely go try and put your nose to this entire house. The entire house is fire, in my opinion. Like, I agree. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot we of We smelled a good... I said eight, about eight to ten. Eight to ten, and there were no misses yeah. at all. But so if you if you learn if you are into it and you search any kind of luxury fragrances, I'm pretty sure YouTube, Google, any top ten list, you're not going to see this one because it's not at least to me it's not as popular and that's what I like. Again, more drink content, food content, more vlogs, you know, and still bringing the house content. So stay tuned for that. Um, Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe below. Tell it, us, you know, what you guys are looking forward to seeing, what you want to see from us. Um, if you have anything to say about any of the haul that we had, anything about our collections, if you aren't already, make sure you're following us on uh, Instagram. We'll make sure we uh, post that below. We are starting to get into TikTok a little bit more. You are. Um, so <laughs> make sure you, uh, I'm not you know, on check that out as well. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap up the video, babe. All right. So until the next video, which should be hopefully, I'm going to put it out there so <laughs> we can hold ourselves accountable. We're going to drop this one. Probably on Thursday and another one on Sunday. So stay tuned. Peace.